Chapter 15 Prayer, F. Prayer is the greatest key to success. First Bible lesson, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Second Bible lesson, James chapter 5 verse 13, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Golden text, Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which possesseth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Brethren, we shall commence the theme of our lesson this morning with three spiritual songs. 1. Prayer is the bullet of the children of God only if offered with faith. 2. Whoever prays fervently always shall have eternal life. 3. Pray and seek for power, children of God, pray and seek for my power which controls the whole world. Brethren the key which you heard was given to Peter was prayer. Your problem is that you do not believe in the efficacy of prayer. That is why the Father is reminding you again today about the importance of prayer. Prayer is the most powerful force in the entire universe. It is stronger than the armies and more terrifying than atomic or nuclear weapons in the world. In these perilous and dark days of fear of nuclear annihilation, famine, terrorism, alcoholism, drug abuse, sexual perversion, happies and AIDS, the only silver lining is prayer. Prayer is our only hope of victory in everything and the promoter of holiness. Prayer is the remover of all obstacles and adjuster of all disputes. It is only prayer which can reveal the Holy Spirit and His mission to you. Prayer changes people, things and circumstances. But yet, it is this greatest force in the world that is so infrequently used. Prayer is the greatest spiritual weapon where there is no peace, no money, and no stability in the family, the most needed enabling force should be prayer. If you are a celebrated fornicator, drunkard, thief, a short-tempered person, you can only find solution in offering prayer to the Father. If you look for peace, wisdom, riches, spiritual power, fast and pray, you will find immediate solution. Fighting, quarreling, fastidiousness cannot help you. Those who have no wisdom, knowledge, understanding and the fear of the Lord should pray and ask the Father for them. If you are not happy, joyous, or you are afflicted, pray. This is the greatest spiritual weapon. All the prayers, songs, visions, dreams, preaching you render are fighting weapons. If you are weak, pray and ask God for energy, and He will certainly restore it for you. If you are unable to practice the gospel or pray, fast and pray to the Father, and He will find adequate solution for you. It is pathetic and rather baffling to hear people saying that they cannot refrain from anger, theft, fornication, drunkenness and other evil tendencies. Why not surrender all these things to God? If your family, community, and village are not willing to serve God, you have to give it to the Father in prayers, and you will rejoice and glorify God that you did. He will bring all of them into the kingdom when you least anticipate. If you have a husband or wife who is a celebrated flirt, surrender it to the Father in prayers, he will change him or her. If your children are stubborn and truant, in the same vein, surrender it to the Father, he will bring you immediate solution. If your beloved husband, wife, brother or sister is stubborn or backslides from the service of God, pray, and the Father will bring them to the path of sanity and rectitude. Our weapon of war is prayer. Prayer gives you all that you want if other countries take up arms against you, do not wage war against them, simply surrender them to the Father, He will fight and win victory for you. If you are robbed or threatened by the highway robber or hide killers, put it in fervent prayer, and the Father will conquer them for you. If your government is badly run and managed, do not write any petition to anyone, simply take it to the Father in prayers. He will eventually give you a good government. If the attendance in your battle or function is poor, simply give it to the Father in prayers, and the Father shall bring people. If you are unmarried, and you want to get married to a good brother or sister, give it to the Father in prayer, and He will do your bidding. Our Lord Jesus Christ had said that those who are tired and are heavy laden with inexplicable problems, they should come to Him, and He will give them rest. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Whatever is disturbing you, Put it before your Father and He will solve it for you. Prayer is the key to success if you are seeking for higher education, 
Simply surrender all your life ambitions to the Father and He will help you to realize your visions and aspirations. Whatever you need, even if your property is missing, do not report to the police, report it to the Father in prayers, and you will be surprised to see that your heart's desire is met. If you build a house, and there is no tenant, or you have a business which is not functioning profitably, surrender it to the Father, and He will meet whatever you require. That is why it is said that except Jehovah builds the house, or guards the city, it is to no avail. Psalms chapter 127 verse 1 That builder simply works hard, and the watchman watches but in vain. I had already told you all these things, and I am telling you again that prayer is the key to successes. Therefore men should pray more often than they eat. And it is very imperative that you do it if you really want to succeed. Brethren, let our first lesson be read as I am not going to take you further. First Bible lesson, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Brethren, have you heard the text read to you? He knows that we are to ask him to find all solutions to us. It is unthinkable to stand before him and boast that you shall not commit this or that sin again. You will talk proudly and boastfully as though you are the one controlling your affairs. That every day you will be swimming in the very sin you said you had forsaken with abject abandon until you get fed up. You will afterwards become ashamed of yourself. You should understand that the ability to forsake sin is beyond man's horizon, and it is not the prerogative of man. It is only God who can change man at his own time. If you plead with your father that your sins are so many and stubborn, he will take them from you. Prayer can bring into existence what was not that was why the disciples of our Lord Jesus assembled in one place and continuously prayed, worshipping God in spirit and in truth at all times. Do not joke with anybody who worships God in prayers. Prayer can bring into existence what was not. Conversely prayer can make what had existed not to exist. Whoever prays is always great. And it is only through prayer that you can truly be in union with your Father. Whatever problems you have, communicate to your Father through prayer, and He who knows all things shall solve them for you. But there is one infallible truth about God, and that is, He would want you to personally seek, ask, and knock, and He would then do your bidding. That was why our Lord Jesus the Christ had to ask the sick if they would want their ailments cured. He wanted them to present their request by themselves. You should realize that men, angels, spirits, or charm cannot do anything, let alone help you out of any problem. Prayer is the gateway to peace, joy, happiness, wisdom, success and the rest of them. There is no true worshipper of God who never prays at all times. Elijah was a man of God and prayed and rain stopped to fall for three and a half years, three years and six months. He prayed again when he thought it was absolutely necessary, and there was torrential rain. Why are you so fraught with problems, such that you cannot pray? Why are you so heavy laden with many carnal considerations such that you refuse to pray to your father? If a person boasts and challenges you that he would do this or that to you, do not entertain any fear, simply fast and pray, and the father will help out. It is a pity that people regard prayer as something very insignificant. And absolutely it is prayer that can truly solve your problems, and not medication or juju concoctions. For example, when the king of Assyria boasted that he would eliminate King Hezekiah and his subjects in a military confrontation, King Hezekiah prayed to the Father. And the Lord sent prophet Isaiah to console him, and to tell him that he Jehovah would put a ring in the king of Assyria's nose. During the military confrontation which the king of Assyria attempted, he lost his life and his large army. The Father fought for King Hezekiah and won the victory for him. Prayers can stop highway robbers from visiting you if highway robbers threaten to kill you and to steal your property, do not get despondent. Pray to your father, and all things shall be overcome for you. It is pathetic that you have the key of powers in your hands, but you are still groping helplessly as a blind man. Everything is within your reach, but you have refused to use the key which is prayer, to open the door of your success. And the key is let and with that three-letter word, whatever is the gravity of your sickness, problems, and the rest of them, all must be solved in a matter of seconds. There is no problem which prayer cannot solve. You may get a letter from, say, India, 
America or Europe that your brother or sister is hopelessly sick. On receiving such a letter, do not get worried. You have to confess your sins and pray. You will certainly be informed that the person is quite sound in health. Without prayers we would not survive, but however, you have to refrain from committing vice so that God might focus his attention on you. In Isaiah chapter 1 verses 10 to 21, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom, give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me? Said the Lord, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams, and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand, to tread my courts? Bring no more vain ablations, incense is an abomination unto me, the new moons and sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with, it is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feast my soul hatteth, they are a trouble unto me, I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you, yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear, your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, said the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land, but if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderous. Jehovah had told the people of Sodom and Gomorrah they should reconcile with him by refraining from their abominable ways, otherwise they would be devoured with the sword. He added that he had no place in their sacrifices, assemblies, vain ablations, and the observation of the new moon. He told them to see reason and come and, let us reconcile through true repentance. He assured them that though their sins might be as black as charcoal or as red as crimson, he would make them to be white as snow. Therefore in the time of adversity or happiness, simply keep yourself holy, and pray to your Father, all your inexplicable problems should be taken away. Brethren, let's read our second lesson once more. Second Bible lesson, James chapter 5 verse 13, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. There is no time that God had ever advised you to go and fight or cut a person with a sword. But you continue to quarrel, fight, cry and lament. That is why you are told that if you have any problems, or you are sick, fast and pray. There is no problem or temptation that prayer cannot surmount. With patience, fasting and prayers, you can easily surmount every difficulty. It is prayer that can take away sickness, court cases, and in fact every difficulty. It is erroneous to say that prayer cannot solve certain types of problems and sicknesses. The hidden power in this kingdom is prayer. If prayer cannot solve problems, what else can it do? You could have better said that it is not a thing which education, position, riches can solve. The hidden thing in this kingdom is prayer. I had told you from the highest heaven that before I come out from the vestry into the altar, I have to pray, and as I enter the altar, I must pray. I pray before and after leaving the pulpit. Prayer is the key of all things and it is the only reliable key for that matter. You should therefore cultivate the habit of using this key freely at all times. Before you start doing any business or going to any place, you should pray fervently. If you ask your friend to come to you, and he refuses, you have to pray and the Father shall bring him. And if you are in need of money or anything else, pray and surrender all things to the Father, all these things you need shall be sent to you. It is the height of ignorance to ever anticipate that your brother or sister has the ability to help you. And I am asking you, has he got the ability to help himself? It is a pity that you do not realize that you are just like an ordinary clay or idol which cannot move without being motivated. If you surrender your problems to the Father, he will certainly solve all the problems for you. If you want to travel to any place, you have to surrender your house to the Father and He will watch over all things for you. He will equally lead you to and from your journey. If you are married, 
hand over your matrimonial home to your father, and he will bring harmony, stability, and peace into your home. If you start a business or want your children to be controlled in the fear and wisdom of Jehovah God, hand them over to him in prayer. If there is any problem in your place of work, surrender the situation to the Father, and he will take dominion over it. You have been taught and brought to full and accurate wisdom and understanding of the truth, why are you then deficient in the virtues of God? In this new system, have I ever flogged you, excommunicated or disfellowshipped you on account of wrongdoings? I simply ask the Father to take good care of you, and to change you, making you fit to be used to foster His work. Prayer changes your problems for good all of you are the living witnesses that you are being changed daily. If you say that you have any problem, I will encourage you to pray, and all your problems shall end. If there is any problem in the family, simply pray and hand over such problems to God, and He will take dominion over it. After all, we do not offend any person except God Himself. We have to plead with Him to forgive us all our sins. All wailing, crying and lamentation should be forwarded to Him. He is neither a blind, dumb or deaf God. He is closer to us even than the teeth are close to the tongue. He is in front and behind you at all times. He cares for you every minute of your life. This is a short gospel, but it is also of great importance, and it is the key which unlocks the gate of this kingdom. Every other thing such as vision, dream, even the gospel, emanates from prayer. Love, joy, peace and other good things are derivable from prayer. If you knew that you had gone astray, put it in fervent prayer and the Father will give you divine guidance and directives. If you have any problems, do not tell them to people because they have no solutions to offer you, but put them before your Father. If you tell your problems to people, they will only laugh at you, making the whole thing a public issue. But if you bring them to your Father in prayer, He will solve them for you before you will ever realize them. It is your Father who can solve your problem, your sins notwithstanding. But if you really want your prayers to be efficacious, ensure that you confess all your sins wholeheartedly and do not hide anything from Him. If you are a fornicator, a thief, liar, swindler, a murderer or backbiter, do not fail to expose all to Him. He will pardon you and solve your problems no matter their gravity. Be truly repentant of all your sins, and He, being God of sufficiency and goodness, shall forgive you and do your bidding. If you have no wisdom, faith, understanding, ask your Father to give you through prayers. He has the key to open the door to all good things. Brethren, I am not going to take you further, let our golden text be read. Golden text Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which possess all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The efficacy of prayer I want to tell you two short stories about the essence of prayers. There was a city where highway robbery was the order of the day. Theirs was not a question of robbing people in the night, it was done with military precision in broad daylight. The robbers would deliberately send notes to notify their victims of the day and time they would strike. There was one great woman who was extremely rich, whom they wanted to rob and possibly kill if she would ever resist their daring venture. But on that eventful night before she slept, she prayed that God should give the robbers something to do. Because if they have something to do, the tendency to steal or rob with violence shall not arise. It is not their wish to steal or rob with violence. Nevertheless give them what to do or eat so that they abandon this notorious life of violence and crime. Little did she know that the robbers were already hiding in the house, and they had all that she had said. They were impressed, and so too went out to blow whistle for the rest to come. When they came out, the two gang leaders intimated the rest of them of the good prayers the woman offered for them. This prayer had saved them and her. They promised not to steal any of her property, or threaten her life or her household. They left, stealing nothing and doing harm to nobody, and suddenly within a week all the thieves got jobs, and never stole or killed people again. They lived useful lives as good citizens of the community contributing their own quotas for the betterment of the society. Another story is about a king who was exiled by his subjects. The king was extremely rich and had many children. Of the number of his children, 
100 were lawyers and the king hired 200 lawyers to plead for him in court. They bribed and made juju concoctions to ensure that the exile bid was stopped, but all to no avail. The king was still sent on exile. When a prophet heard about the incident, he went to inquire about it. The children confirmed that he had been sent on exile. The prophet asked them if they had prayed for God to take dominion over the whole issue. They said, no, adding that what happened was not a thing of prayer, but something very important. The prophet insisted that if they had prayed to the father he could have averted the situation. The prophet told one of the king's children say, thank you father for my father has come back. He, the prophet, advised that he should say that many times each day. Brethren, within 48 hours, a message was received querying what was the rationale of sending the king on exile. And all of a sudden, the king was sent back to his throne to come and rule and reign peacefully and prosperously until he died. He left the throne for one of his children. Brethren, you should realize that as God did that for the king through prayers, you cannot be an exception. He will do the same thing for you. Therefore, if you had neither acknowledged the efficacy of prayers nor prayed, you should start from now. Do not think that money, power or position can be used to manipulate the will of God. But if you surrender all things to God in prayers, He will solve all problems for you. I am not going to take you further. It is said that a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless His words. Amen. Thank you, Father.